Hi, welcome to Click Geek. <clears throat> in this session, we'll see how the auto number works in ClickU and the significance of the auto number as well. It also has uh, two uh, sister concern uh, functions which we uh, name them as uh, auto number hash 128 and auto number hash 256. So the num the name of the function is a uh, bit self-explanatory. I could say, like it will generate uh, a number. So based on the expression and the ID which you are specifying here. So all the auto number functions uh, expect at least one parameter, but you can leverage up to two. And this is going to be very much useful if you're using uh, two parameters, right? So that's regarding the introduction to auto number. Let's jump into click and then we'll see how these uh, how this auto number function will work in real time, right? So for this, I'm going to uh, load some uh, sample data set. So this is a table which has category, product and uh, store. So we'll be having the category C1, which has a product P1 and category C1 will also have a product P2. And this is of uh, sales S1 and this is of S1. And whereas coming to C2, we have product P3 and as well as a C to also have a product P1 and this is the uh, these two products are belongs to the store S3 okay this is one table and I will be naming it as a T1 right so I'll create one more table with name T2 and in this what I'll do is instead of putting these stores I'll make this as a sales so here it would be 150 215 and 32 156 Right, if if I load this, then let's see the data model. So here we got a, a synthetic key. So just forgot about synthetic key. In this case, now our motto is to uh, link the category and products properly, so that we can get sales by category, sales by product or sales by a uh, group of category and products as well okay so in this scenario what this is doing it's going to create a key with the strings so the key values here are in the form of text not in the form of number the first scenario here is it is better to have number as a key value in the table this is always recommended in click view because the sorting is um, very fast if you're working with the numerical keys right so how we can do is we can use auto number function so that this auto number function will generate a sequence of numbers 
taking a text or a number or as a date into its input and it will generate a sequence of numbers the sequence of numbers depends on the sequence of data that is being loaded into click view right so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a key in both the tables but we'll keep the category and product only in one table right so now let's press ok let's create a new tab i will name this tab as auto number and load star resident and t1 uh, as it seems to be the table one has only dimensions it is better to create key and keep dimensions only in that table t1 right so just put start so that it will load all the fields from the table t1 and now our motto is to have uh, a key that will be linking with the fact table so in our case the table which uh, has the sales is a fact and the table which has category product and store is a dimension table because there are no numbers or uh, measures that are available in t1 we only have the measures in t2 that's why we are calling it a fact okay right so to use auto number just type auto number then it will uh, give you the intelligence and search it and now our uh, intention is to create a key in combination of uh, product and category so what we do is we'll just take this thing here control c so now we're going to use that here so in this case i'm not going to use uh, two parameters i'll be using only one parameter so to make this one parameter what i'll do is i'll concatenate these two category and product uh, with a, a hyphen in between these two so there is a purpose in this case sometimes the data may be similar so that it can't able to differentiate in between so to uh, adding a new character definitely will differentiate that so in the in our scenario i'm just uh, going to add another character in between but the character is going to be a uniform one for all the uh, data values so i'm going to add a hyphen here so this is going to be a combination of category and product and the auto number function is going to generate sequence of numbers for this and i'll put this as percentile product underscore category underscore key right why i'm placing a percentile here because it's a it's going to be used as a key field so and then reload it if you go to the data model you can see a key out here we'll see about the removing the synthetic keys and the redundant tables out there later on let's go there now you can see the product category with the four different combination and four that's why it is giving you four values in sequential order right so as we have loaded the table t1 into this table so i'll name this table as auto1 and then we no longer require the table t1 so drop the table okay now concentrate on table t2 So I'll name the table T2 as auto2 and I, I don't need all the fields from the table 2 because it also has dimensions and measures but I need only measure and a key so that I can link my table T2 with T1. So for that just resident from T2 and do not put here the asterisk. Asterisk indicates all but if you go to table 2 you have category product and sales but as our auto 1 has category and product so we just need only sales just take sales and then put it here 
so and then order number of category and product so this is going to be created now after loading this we'll be having the table t2 as well so we don't need that so i'm going to delete it in the sense dropping the table t2 right just reload and go to this now you have a clear view of the t2 tables auto 1 and auto 2 the auto 1 table has dimensions only and auto 2 table has only measures in link with uh, the dimension table so this is a simple and uh, example that i can say like this is following the dimensional modeling so if you are interested to look after i mean uh, look uh, uh, you are looking for any of the uh, data warehousing concepts i would recommend uh, you to go through the ralph kimball's uh, dimension modeling book so that's a uh, version of uh, concepts uh, regarding the uh, dimension modeling and data warehousing concepts so that's the best one which i would recommend people those who are looking for data warehousing concepts but yes so this is the perfect example uh, and it's a small example which i would say it is following the dimension modeling uh, properties somehow right so now in this case redundancy is zero so we are using the dimensions and measures efficiently and the connectivity is also see it's, it's a perfect one you can see the product underscore category is a perfect key so if the information density uh is 100 percent it means that all the rows in the table is having the data and subset ratio is 100 percent it means that all the keys are available intact with the, the other table so and if the subset ratio is 100 percent in both the tables then it's going to be a perfect key means uh, your uh, data is 100 percent accurate so this is how you can uh, use auto number to generate numeric keys from uh, a composite key combination suppose where, the, where this will be useful in case if you are using excel sheets and uh, or else your database uh, is not uh, an, an rdbms database so in those scenarios if your data is not having a key you have to create uh, composite keys uh, depends on the requirement so in this in, the, in that scenario this auto number is very much useful right and uh, uh, this is one scenario there is another scenario that i'll show you if you try to generate weak numbers in calendar so it will give you uh, 53 or 50 uh, 53 weeks in a in a calendar uh, year suppose if you have two or three calendar years and you want to generate sequential um, i mean week uh, weeks like suppose if you have two Yes, two calendar years then uh, uh, subsequently it will have one or six calendar weeks but whereas the week function only written 53 in one and 53 in one so you can use the week uh, uh, and the year combination so that you can get uh, the one or six weeks uh, in the subsequent numbers so you can use the other parameter here uh, there are two parameters right one parameter is this one as a parameter you can use something like uh, so test so now your your order number will be named with this test and you can also uh, use this one to generate the numbers so group by this value suppose you have years here and here month it means your years get an order number group by month so that you can reset the values based on each and every number so and there is a, a limitation in uh, auto number usage uh, before going to the limitation i'll tell you what is the advantage of using auto number auto number doesn't use any memory if you have properly syntaxed it so what is this properly syntaxing so if any table has only one auto number function it doesn't require the second parameter to utilize zero memory footprint okay if you are using more than one auto number function without the second parameter it will use the memory footprint in your uh, memory right so to avoid that just provide uh, a second parameter 
so that you can um, avoid the memory footprint so let's see how does it work so now let's test with the second parameter i'm uh, giving uniform name here so it is going to be test i will make this as testing let's reload it so both tables has the same second parameter name and go there if you see you can see one two three four in here and one two three four in here if i change the second parameter what will happen in one so i'll change this as a test two four three reload it Control T and uh, you see one two three four. You see one two three four. But so while uh, using other, I mean, if, if 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 as this is the small data set, we are not able to identify the difference. But it definitely differs in the case of large data sets. Make sure if you are linking two tables with auto number key both the parameters should be same means the field name might be different here it is a category one here might be category two but the fields should have the same value and the second parameter should be similar in case of that so as we have the smaller data set it is not showing any difference but there is a difference which you could figure out if you have a larger data set right so let's see about the memory footprint so now i'll be just hiding the table t2 And then I'll so now we have only one uh, one table with one auto number function let's reload it this has uh, the data which we required right I'm saying if you use auto number function it's not going to be using any memory footprint in uh, the ram right so how we can check that so if you go to the document properties then you can see the memory statistics in the general tab just click on it so it last prompt you for the saving this one now so that what it will do is it will create uh, a mem usage file behind the screen and uh, the folder which you are specifying for so here I'm giving the name auto for this and let's save it. So I'll be opening the data folder where I have saved, then you can see here how you can read it. So the mem file is nothing but a text file. So you could open that file uh, with any kind of uh, text read full format. So here we have the uh i mean a type class type subtype and how many bytes were used and everything and the size calculation time every, everything you can get it here so here in our case it's a database and the field is going to be this one product category and it is using zero memory as a size right so if you have any dot let's load this table into our uh, click view so that you can get a clear view so i'll be creating a tab with mem Table file, go there. Seems to be tab is going to be yes. And then we need labels. So let's embed the labels and finish it off and reload it. don't need ID 
yes we need bytes and this one is count size calculated time and analysis calculation time so so if you have a click on uh, field you could see the fields here so the the fields with our dollar or the uh, i could say system fields okay now see the product category the size of this is zero and here is zero bytes if you select a category it will give you how many bytes uh, it is occupying and you can see product same as store but the product category is not occupying anything. It means that the memory footprint that is being used by autonomous function is zero. It works on the concept of pointers. Okay. So, and now let's create another autonomous function in the same. So, this time what I'll do is. comma this one just to create for product so so you're just creating the key for the products save it and reload now data is with this now so what i'll do is i'll save the memory footprint now click on memory select it and save it just replace it and okay now reload okay select the field so that you can get the field click on product key now you can see it is using 24 bytes and even this one also using 32 bytes why because whenever you are using more than one autonomous function inside a single table you must use second parameters to avoid the memory footprint uses there is a reason behind this so to differentiate two auto number function so this will use the ram so if you could pass the second parameter then we are telling the uh, the engine that we are separating them with a name so here i'll say as a key key one and here also i'll pass this second parameter as key two and then reload it okay let's save i'll be clearing i'll be generating the memory footprint again so go to memory statistics and select the file say replace yes and then press ok now reload it so select the fields go to product key now it is using zero memory bytes and select this one so this is how you can uh, efficiently use the auto number function to generate the zero memory footprint keys and the numeric keys which are very faster in uh, uh, i can say uh, sorting the data so that you can uh, you could expect the results uh, and the sorting in between two different tables very fastly and the speed get increased so this, these are the advantages and uses of the auto number function and what about digit fantasies ClickView uh, itself has uh, um, uh, some pitfalls, I would say. If any of the tables column has more than 2.3 billion rows of unique values or more than 2.3 billion unique records in any, unique records in the sense of numeric records in any of the field, so thereafter, Click you itself don't know how to number or how to consider those values. So in this case also, if the composite key is generating more than 2.3 billion or 2.1 billion uh, unique combinations in your data set, thereafter auto number won't work properly. So it will start numbering them negative or else positive or whatsoever it, it likes to. So this is what the limitation is. If your composite key is preparing multiple combinations so that it has to generate the unique combination, com I mean unique numbers for each the combination. So in that case, your auto number will going to fail, All right? So auto number uses, one you can generate a numeric key, 
and the one you can uh, gen uh, new uh, uh, another scenario is like you can generate sequence of uh, numbers uh, and the sequence of numbers depends on the order of the uh, data that is being uh, read by click view and other one is for counting sometimes uh, counting is a bit uh, tedious uh, if you go for strings and it's a bit easy if you could uh, like uh, if you are using the numbers and as well as if you're using min string and max string in that case also you can uh, use uh, auto number to generate a respective key so that you can uh, uh, use uh, numbers itself to get min and max out of those uh, min strings because getting max string and min string is a bit a uh, cast in terms of the performance right so this is how auto number is useful what about the other two auto number a function that is auto number hash 128 and 256 so if you are aware of the uh, encryption mechanisms in computer science like oh, so what they do is basically they will uh, uh, generate a kind of unreadable data from the readable data format so which we call them as encryption converting the readable data format into unreadable format so basically these are used for secured information transmission in the network um so what uh, what what we are going to do with uh, this auto number hash 128 and auto number hash 256 is so this auto number hash 128 is going to use a hash 128 algorithm to generate the combination so if you see here in this scenario uh, we have used the uh, i mean hyphen symbol in between so if if your uh, combinations are creating the same type of um uh, i mean keys even though they are different so in that case what you could do is you can use the hashing algorithms so in, if you use auto number hash what will happen is auto number hash 128 you could pass these parameters as three so it lacks if this is if you see it gives you the intelligence so you can pass the expression one two three and so on so if you load it what it is doing it will use the hash 128 algorithm to generate a unique combination uh, with the combination of these three values and then it will pass that num uh, the, the combination of these three i mean uh, the resultant of hash 128 to the auto number and the auto number will generate a, uh, a key uh, a numeric key value for this uh, for the for the hash uh, string that is being generated by hash 128 algorithm just reload it now. We'll see. So press Control T. If you go there, you could uh, see that, right? So here is something is one two three four, another one is one two three one. So it's going to be using some kind of hashing algorithms. If uh, and the two fifty six hash for two fifty six is similar, but yes, it uses the two fifty six bit uh, hash algorithms. that's it so this is how you can use the order number order number hash 128 and order number hash 256 so thanks for watching the video please subscribe